Hey, what's up you guys? It's Spartan. And today, I'll be showing you guys the fastest way and the easiest way to get both really, really good energy weapons, the best energy weapons in the game, and basically unlimited gold in this game. Like, basically about, like, $7,000 worth of coins. But, okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to the city, and you're going to want to go to Freeside's East Gate. And you're going to want to basically, um, well, go in the gate. And then you're going to want to go all the way straight down and to the right, and you'll find a second entrance. I then left again. This is kind of like a hidden entrance. I don't know why they made it like this. But it looks like a little blue bus kind of thing, like torn apart, and there's a little door here that you'll open. So, door to free side. And then, you're gonna basically... There's also a really cool quest. They all, they all kind of look like Elvis Presley too, which is kind of funny. But, uh, you go in there and talk to the king, you get some missions from him. And it's a really cool place, but, um, you're gonna go down the right alleyway, the free side sign, past the Atomic Wrangler, and you're gonna want to go to Silver Rush. Which is basically like this gang of, you know, like, they basically supply energy weapons and you can buy some really, really good energy weapons in here. But they'll take your guns as soon as you go in here. Afraid I'm gonna have to search you before letting you in. You're just gonna let them take your weapons and stuff like that, it won't matter. Alright, so also when you get in here, um, basically there's just gonna be weapons littered everywhere and tons of bodyguards and you're gonna be obviously aren't like without a weapon so one way you can do this is you can kill every single person in here but in order to do that you basically can either do what I'm about to show you and use one of these weapons and kill all of them which could be kinda easy but also a little hard or you can just um, buy a weapon from her her best weapon possible and buy tons of mines and grenades from her crouch back here well, first, actually, use the mines and basically throw at these guards' feet because they don't move. These guards do move, so put it, like, put it, like, right here and right here and put a few of them so they, and you make sure they die. Same with the two guys over there. And you're going to want to put mines here on the staircase and here on the staircase so he doesn't trigger it, but he triggers it when he runs over here. And these guys are going to be the real problems here. So just crouch here, shoot her in the head, and take him out. And then you can take all the weapons here. So, but the better, like what I did and what I'm about to do is basically just steal all these weapons. So these are all worth, you know, three thousand, four thousand, seven thousand dollars. Like this plasma caster, if you spawn it with the highest like durability, because you have to kind of come in and out and see like when it's worth the most. You know, like when I when I originally came in here for the video. This thing was only worth about, um, I think, about six hundred dollars, and I was con I was confused because the durability on it was like one percent, so it it's randomly generated every time you come in. But just wait until that's a hundred percent durability because it's worth so much. All right, so what you're going to do is just go to your inventory and go to your aid, and hopefully you have a stealth boy. They're not that hard to find, and usually people don't use them a lot. So just use the stealth boy and steal every single piece of equipment in there. So that was like, that was right there, $3,200. And then I'm gonna come over here and keep your distance away from them because they can kind of detect if uh, you're too close to them. Same with your partner. You can even like make your partner wait or something outside. That could probably help. And I'm gonna come over here and this thing's worth $7,000. And you can also resell all this stuff. Ah oh, man, that's kind of pushing close to him. All right, this should be okay. All right, there we go. And then there's also some weapons over here in the counter. Just keep your distance away from the people. I am encumbered. So much ammunition here too, energy ammunition and mines. So you can use the mines on them if you want to kill them all. And then basically you're just going to go, um, I could probably give it to her, but I'm not going to. Um, if you don't want to use the weapons you find, or if there's like, you know, if there's some crappy weapons you already had or something like that, you don't want to carry too much weight. Just sell it back to her. To she doesn't show. even realize they're stolen and they're hers. It's really funny. So you can get, um, 
I think she starts off at like four thousand dollars, but I took most of her money. So you can get four thousand caps right away straight from her by selling all this stuff. It's really cool. So like look at that. You can sell it for forty two hundred or I'd recommend you go to the arms dealer robot. Um in the middle of the city, I think it's like I forget what his name is. He'll sell it for a little bit of a price, or find a settlement where there's a rich settler or whatever that you have a good relationship with, so you can get closer to seven thousand value. But that's seven thousand dollars, about so it's about ten thousand, thirteen thousand, and then you know it just keeps adding up. That's about it's probably about twenty thousand dollars I just took of stuff. So twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars right there, right off the bat from doing literally nothing. And you also get one of the best energy weapons in the game. Alright, also, um, I gave all my weapons to the dude at the front desk. You know, or at least outside, the, like, patrolling or whatever. So, every single weapon here is stuff I picked up. So, definitely like $30,000 in everything I just put in here inventory. So, that's just crazy. But I'm basically going to use the grenades and the plasma mine just for fun to show you guys what it would look like to kill all of them in here and how to do it. Because there is a quest I'm doing right now for Cass as a follower is to kill everyone in here. So I'll show you guys that. Alright, so what you're going to do is use the mines and basically just throw it next to every single person in the room. Make sure it's far enough away where it won't immediately activate. Everyone's stationary. The dude walking, make sure he doesn't activate on any on accident, so you know you're ready. And one of the best dudes, did you just who just shoved me? All right, let's get that. All right, there we go. And this is one of the best dudes, so I'm gonna throw a second one near him. And I'm gonna use this plasma grenade. And before you do this, I'd highly recommend you put on some good armor, get some healing going, and um use some kind of like pain resistance so I'm gonna do damage resistance plus 25 a health pack and that should be pretty good and what you're gonna do is basically just start throwing grenades so this plasma grenade one of them probably could clear this whole room so be careful <laughs> oh my god yep that did it so that activates every single mine in the room and almost destroyed everyone she just has one health Look at that. That was absolutely gorgeous. So mine at everyone's feet, throw a plasma grenade, wipes the entire room. You could not fight them without grenades or doing that mine trick. So there you go. That's how you do the mission, and that's how you get unlimited gold, basically, in this game. It's just a little fun little video for you guys. It's my first time playing New Vegas, and, you know, I thought I might as well just do a video or tips and tricks on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And... She's a little mad at me no for doing the quest like that, but you know. <laughs> Alright, now, and you just um, pick off the key from the main girl's, um, basically her body, and then you go to the, um, to the safe or whatever, and you get the evidence for her to prove that she killed the caravan people. Oh, also I wanted to mention, every single person in this room has a plasma rifle or a plasma gun, and they're all wearing combat armor. That combat armor costs two thousand dollars each, or three thousand, up to three thousand. So that's insane. So each body I just killed is worth two to four thousand dollars. So another, I'll say three thousand there, six thousand, nine thousand, twelve thousand, fifteen thousand. Um, nothing on her, and eighteen thousand right here. So there you go, another $18,000. So that's a solid $50,000 from just going into this one place and killing the bandits like that. And you can be any level you want. You can go in here naked, um, as long as you take some pain medicine before you blow up the whole place. And just put mines at everyone's feet, throw a grenade, and bam, you're done. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's a little quick video. It's my first time playing New Vegas. And I thought I'd do tips and tricks on it to help some of you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.